Hi, I'm Sarah Richardson. As a designer, I'm always looking for a new challenge. For this project, I decided to see what could be achieved by renovating an average house entirely with elements from a big box store. I think the results are pretty dramatic, and I'm pretty sure you're going to say, you got that where? Episode 4. Let's talk about appliance choices. Your appliances are the workhorses of your kitchen, so I think it makes sense to spend some time researching and making sure that you get the right choices for the way you live. When it comes to a refrigerator, I always like a counter depth refrigerator. What that means is it's about five inches shallower than your standard refrigerator choice on the market. And the reason I like that is, first of all, you get a nice clean line between the edge of your counters and the front of your refrigerator. But it's also good if you're in a compact space and you're trying to maximize flow and clearances throughout the kitchen. That five inches can make a huge difference. It creates a nice consistent line of built-ins if you've got a full height pantry and here's something else about this counter depth fridge. If you've got an option that has ice and water in the door, you'll often find that you lose a huge chunk of space inside the refrigerator or in the freezer. In this case, the ice and water capabilities are housed right inside the door, which I think is clever because it saves space, plus you still get storage in the door. Pretty smart. And this is a French door refrigerator, and that means it has two doors side by side on the upper part of the refrigerator. It also has two drawers for the lower freezer. And if you think about rummaging around to find something in a big deep freezer drawer, doesn't this make it all that much easier to find the ice cream that you're craving? I think so. Now, we'd all love to have a professional range, but it's not always in the budget. What if you could combine professional styling with good power, all at a price point you can afford? Well, that's where this one comes in. This range has 19,000 BTUs of cooking power. What does that mean? Well, it means you can boil a kettle faster, it means you can whip up a stir fry, or you can saute with good high power when you need it. It also has five burners and great professional styling so that you can get the look you want at the price you can afford. Now let's talk about dishwashers. I always thought that steam related to ironing my clothes, but now you can get a dishwasher with steam capabilities, which means it can get baked on food off your dishes and still keep that precious china in pristine condition. So when it comes to renovating your kitchen and taking the plunge to buy new appliances, I suggest you spend a little bit of time researching and finding the ones that have the features and functions that work best for you and your lifestyle. Follow me on my renovation adventure with a 10 part web video series that will give you tips and inspiration and help you turn big box products into out of the box solutions.